today we're taking a look at the NHL matches, which are happening on Thursday, April 22nd, 2021, and giving you my betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. Philadelphia is 2018-7 with 47 points and is in jeopardy of missing the postseason. The Flyers' only real hope is one of the two conference wildcard spots. The Flyers are currently 6th in the East Division but 5 points behind their closest competitor the New York Rangers. Philadelphia is scoring its share of goals but the Flyers are giving up far too many at a rate of 3.51 goals per game. New York remains in the playoff picture in the East Division as the Rangers are 23-17-6 with 52 points. New York is 5th in the East 6 points behind 4th place Boston and 9 points behind 3rd place Pittsburgh. The Rangers are coming off a 6-1 embarrassing loss to the New York Islanders on Tuesday, but prior to that loss the Rangers had won 4 straight in 5 of the previous 6. The Philadelphia Flyers 2018-7 recorded their fourth defeat in the last five contests, 1-3-1, losing for the second time in a row, 0-1-1, following a 1-0 overtime defeat to the New York Islanders at Wells Fargo Center on Sunday. The New York Rangers are allowing an average of 2.65 goals per game and the penalty kill unit has had much success as New York is holding opponents scoreless 84.7% of the time that the Rangers are short-handed. Igor Shesterkin is 13-10-3 with a 2.43 goals against average, 0.920 save percentage and two shutouts while backup Alexander Georgiev is 7-5-2 with a 2.79 goals against average, 0.902 save percentage and two shutouts. My first betting advice for that game is to pick the Philadelphia Flyers continue to pile up the losses and their inability to cash tickets in the underdog role makes them even less attractive. The New York Rangers have been head and shoulders the better team this season and they've played their best hockey at home. My first betting advice for that game is to pick New York Rangers. The Flyers are 5-16 in their last 21 games as an underdog and 1-4 in their last 5 overall. The Rangers are 6-1 in their last 7 home games and 4-1 in their last 5 overall. The over is 11-3 in Flyers last 14 overall. The over is 7-1 in Rangers' last 8 home games. The Flyers are 5-1 in the last 6 meetings in New York and 12-4 in the last 16 meetings. The favorite is 13-5 in the last 18 meetings. The New York Rangers will look to rebound from a 6-1 loss to the Islanders in their last game. Artemi Panarin leads the Rangers in scoring with 52 points including a team-high 36 assists while also posting 16 goals. My second betting advice for that game is to pick over 6. Now here are my betting suggestions for Florida Panthers vs Carolina Hurricanes match. The Hurricanes have won 5 of the 6 games in the season series thus far but the Panthers have matched up well with them throughout the season and are a tough team to defeat on any night. The Carolina Hurricanes will travel to Sunrise, Florida to take on the Panthers for a massive two-game set which will go a long way in determining who claims the first seed from the Central Division. These clubs have been two of the league's most consistent this season and have continued that form of late with Florida owning a 6-3-1 record over their last 10, and Carolina at 6-2-2. The Panthers enter on a three-game winning streak, finding success while dealing with very meaningful injuries to Carter Verhege and Mackenzie Weger, on top of Aaron Ekblad who is out for the season with a gruesome leg injury sustained in early March. Newly acquired forward Sam Bennett has stepped in the second line center role for the time being and has immediately rewarded GM Bill Zito with five points over his three games with the club. The current point streak of the Florida Panthers, 30-12-5, stretched out to five fixtures, 4-0-1 after the team bagged its third consecutive victory following a 5-1 triumph over the Columbus Blue Jackets at BB&T Center on Tuesday. Playing just 24 hours after beating the Jackets 4-2 in the same building, the Cats scored twice in the opening frame and three more times in the following period, allowing just a single power play snipe four minutes ahead of the first intermission. So, with both having the opportunity to take a sole lead, Expect the motivation to run high in either camp. 
the Panthers have got the home advantage, having already banked seven straight victories at BB&T Center, stretching back to a 2-0 victory against the Nashville Predators on March 20. Still, betting against the Hurricanes seems even more difficult, especially considering the team's recent form versus Florida. Carolina is riding a five-game overall winning run against the Cats, a five-game triumph streak in Sunrise, and has lost just two of its past 12 contests versus the Panthers. My first betting advice for that game is to pick Carolina Hurricanes. The Hurricanes are 8-3 in their last 11 road games and 18-8 in their last 26 overall. The Panthers are 4-0 in their last four games playing on one day's rest and 4-1 in their last five overall. The under is 5-0 in Hurricanes' last five overall. The over is 3-1-1 in Panthers' last five overall. Jonathan Huberto leads the Panthers in scoring with 49 points, including 16 goals. My second betting advice for that game is to pick over 5.5. Now here are my betting suggestions for New York Islanders versus Washington Capitals match. The Capitals are eager to return to the ice after a rough loss against the Bruins last time out. The Islanders enter this one on a winning note after clobbering the Rangers 6-1 on Tuesday night. The Washington Capitals are coming off a 6-3 loss against the Boston Bruins on Sunday. TJ Oshie scored two goals. Nicholas Backstrom had two assists in the game. Vitek Vanessek stopped 22 out of 27 shots faced. Washington's offense is playing very well recently. They have scored three goals or more in six out of their last nine games. The team ranks second in goals per game, 26th in shots per game, first in shooting percent, and 14th in scoring efficiency ratio. Nicholas Backstrom leads the team with 47 points. The New York Islanders are targeting a third consecutive victory. They recently lost two straight and have replied with victories against the Flyers and followed with a 6-1 victory over the Rangers on Tuesday night to climb into the first place tie in the East. The Islanders are the best home team in the NHL, losing just four times on home ice all season. The Capitals won the first three games of the season series and the Islanders have replied with consecutive wins against their rivals, outscoring them by a large 9-4 margin in those two victories. The Islanders are the best home team in the NHL where they feature an incredible 19-2-2 record. Furthermore, the Capitals have dropped two out of their last three clashes overall, including a defeat to the last place Buffalo Sabres. The Washington Capitals in the underdog role is attractive and they've done some of their best work on the road this season, but I'd need a little more bang for my buck to back them on the road in this spot. The New York Islanders have been a team we've blindly backed dating back to last season and they continue to get better as the season plays out. My first betting advice for that game is to pick New York Islanders. The Capitals are 13-5 in their last 18 road games and 20-8 in their last 28 overall. The Islanders are 44-21 in their last 65 home games and 19-7 in their last 26 overall. The over is 7-0 in Capitals' last 7 overall. The under is 7-1-1 in Islanders' last 9 overall. The Capitals are 6-2 in the last 8 meetings in New York. The home team is 5-0 in the last 5 meetings. The underdog is 12-5 in the last 17 meetings. The New York Islanders will look to build on a 6-1 win over the Islanders in their last game. Matthew Barzell leads the Islanders in scoring with 38 points including 13 goals and a team-high 25 assists while Jordan Eberle has 31 points with 15 goals and 16 assists. Josh Bailey has 20 assists while JG Peugeot has 13 goals with 14 assists. My second betting advice for that game is to pick under 5.5. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.